Hey guys, this is Steve from Blackfly. Hope everybody is doing awesome. Happy New Year. It's 2021. We're finally out of 2020. And I hope and pray everybody has a blessed and awesome new year. So I'm going to try to make this fly time video a little less boring. So I thought I'd give you a, just a quick little view of my um, fly tying station that I kind of got set up. I'm planning on building something over here in the corner, but for right now, uh, this is my setup. I, I built this out of junk wood probably 10, 15 years ago, and that's my old ancient vise that I now use for tying bass jigs. Um, and then I just kind of store, I store most materials in a tackle box, and then I just grab the materials that I need as I tie flies. But one of the best investments I probably ever made was this little, this magnifier. It's got LED lights. Um, gives me magnification and lighting. It's just really nice. What else can I show you guys? Oh yeah, I had some people ask about my, what was my camera setup? Well, my camera setup is when I'm tying flies, I just use my phone. I bought a new Samsung Ultra S20. It's got an amazing camera on it. And so I just set up this little tripod. It's just a little flexi bendy one that I can change the head on. I can put my GoPro head on and I put a little 5,000 milliamp battery just with some batteries. I mean just with some rubber bands so I can slide it up and down. Um, and I use my GoPro, GoPro quick charger that I can plug into my phone or I can plug it into my GoPro when I need more power. I've got a couple of those that I carry with me. Um, and then my peak fly tying vise. That is where all the magic happens. I love that vise. But anyways, guys, a quick little introduction to my tying station. I will give you guys a full tour, I should say, when when I get my tying station done. Don't like it. That's why practice makes perfect. I need lots more practice. Start over. At least I know my flies are tough. Here's the materials that we'll be using for the fly we're going to tie today. And I will try to remember to link a list of these materials down below in case you guys want to try to purchase some. Big news, guys. Big news. I'm going barbless. It's about time, huh? Conservation. Right? Okay, so we're just starting out with the Hannock 450BL, some number 16, barbless. And then we've just got a 3-2 tungsten slotted bead using the Danville 30 wax monocord and the pearl you guys know I like that pearl because I like the color thread and this bug is gonna be for getting down we want this hook to invert and so a little hack for beginners is when you're putting down your uh, your base thread is to hold your thread up at an angle it will guide that thread down so you could just do touching wraps. And I want the tail of this to shoot down just a little bit. Okay, so for the tail, we've got some chartreuse marabou. And keep that centered on the top of that hook. And I'm just going to bring it down just to where the thread ends. I just want that tail shooting down. And we only want about an eighth of an inch. Okay, so next I'm just going to tie in a piece of fine copper. And I've just cut off about an inch and a half. Now I could build up a dam behind the bead. I won't need to with the amount of material that we'll use here. And we're just going to take our little piece of copper here and tie her in. Back up. Next, we're going to take from some pe piece peacock curl, and I'm going to take from the eye because I want the little bit longer fibers. So I'm just going to tie in this little this hurl. I mean, it's probably very obvious that I'm a beginner tire. So, I mean, please feel free to comment and, you know, give me some pointers. 
Now you want to be careful with this stuff when you start out. It's pretty fragile. So scratch that. Let's tie in another piece. Piece of peacock curl. I really think the problem is this this peacock curl. I took it from my wife's flower arrangement a long time ago, and I just think that it's old and a little brittle. The only reason I do an overhand is because when I use the rotary vise, I don't want the thread on unwinding. So we're gonna carefully. Keep this as straight as possible. I'm going to carefully capture that. That should be good. Hopefully my arm, my hand was in the way. Okay, now we're going to take our copper wire. We are going to counter wrap. Just kind of wiggle it back and forth. I'm just wiggling it back and forth to kind of work so it doesn't capture those fibers. Find my thread up, capture. And I'm just gonna come back to right that thread is. Spin that off. Okay, so next the grizzly hackle. And this is kind of why I've tied this back so far. It's gonna have quite a bit of hackle. Hang that over the cradle. So when you're wrapping hackle, you just obviously, I mean, you guys probably already know this, but you want to keep the feather as straight as possible. And as you wrap, you might have to twist. I'm twisting the bottom to keep those, to keep what's on the fly wrapping vertical. That should be enough. And you guys don't have to use Grizz. You could use any any hackle feather. I'm just gonna preen those back a little bit. Get one wrap in front. Okay, so I'm gonna pull all these fibers, the oh, hackle fibers, back. Try to capture as many of those as I can. I don't like those extra fibers, so one thing you can do is take a lighter. Just barely, barely hit those fibers. Be careful you don't hit your thread. I got into the hackle a little bit, but whatever. Maybe the fish are stoners. Okay, so next um, we've got some ice stub and the light olive. Okay, so we're going to bring these back and tire. Break that off. We'll clean it up. Okay, so next I'm going to color our thread. This is, it creates an olive. This creates a little contrast. Get this tied in, good and tight, and make sure that bead stays inverted. I know you guys are looking at that saying, man, that is one ugly fly, but we're not done yet. Give me, give me a chance, guys. Cut off our thread. All right, let's clean it up. Trim it up real fancy with the magnifying glass. Could resemble a peeping caddis or just, just a good attractor fly. Uh, 
just gonna give it a little drop of loom. You guys like that? Shining in your eyes? You hit it with the UV light. Let's watch this. If you guys hung in there this long, I sincerely appreciate you guys watching. Um, Hopefully I can show some fish catches on this bug real soon. You guys have a happy new year and take care. This is Steve from Black Flash Center. Ow! We out of here!